Hey everybody, it's Positive Bluebird. So I have a little bit of a story to tell you of what happened this morning at about 7.45. I kind of had to be a superhero, if you will. Not. Um, I was walking my dog on the back side of the apartment building and on the other side by building E, to be exact, I heard some yelling and I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know where the yelling was coming from. I crouched down to look underneath the tree branch and a construction worker who was on the ladder was saying, hey, can you come here, can you, quick, come here please, can you help me, can you help me? Well, he's holding a caulking gun with this hand, but the other hand I thought was holding the ladder was not. <laughs> I didn't know what he wanted. I thought at first he was flirting and wanted me to come towards him while there was nobody else around. Being that I had my dog, I was like, sir, what do you need? What, what am I helping you with? I've got my dog. Well, he started getting more loud and frustrated and yelling more, please hurry, please. <laughs> I come towards him and his wrist, I kid you not, from here to here was trapped in the steps of the ladder. I started gagging, I started freaking out, I was trying to like cope with how am I going to help this guy when I have my dog who acts like Cujo. So basically what I did was um, I came up to him while holding the dog. Um, and asked him, okay, what do I do, what do I do? He wanted me to push up the ladder of where he was stepping. Now, in my head, I'm thinking, how am I gonna do that while holding my dog? So I put my dog down, holding the leash around my arm so that I can have two free hands, and I was trying to push the steps upward. Well, he's kind of big, not that big, but you know, big, and I have weak arms, so, I was struggling. <laughs> he's freaking out more, he's screaming more, and I'm like, ah! So I stopped what I was doing, looked down, and my dog is now off of his collar. <laughs> I'm like, no, this is not happening. I said, stay. So my dog did not run off, thank goodness, because he was trying to figure out, you know, which direction to go, what's going on. There's a lot of construction noise, people running around. But it was just the two of us and the dog on the back side of this one building. So I went up to my dog slowly, put his collar back on, picked him up, and started waving and flagging down the other construction workers at Building C. They didn't know what I was doing or saying or didn't understand me or whatever, so I was motioning them to come quickly this way, and I was pointing. Well, they probably thought my dog bit the other worker. That worker, thank goodness, spoke Spanish and was translating to them to help. And so two guys pushed that ladder up to free his wrist. And the guy came down, he's like, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, you guys. And gave them a high five and a hug and a handshake. And he looked at me and smiled with tears down his eyes. And I started panicking like, I am so terribly sorry. I didn't know what to do. There was no way that I could lift you know, the ladder up and have my dog Cujo, uh, you know, <laughs> on the loose over here and whatnot. But the guy was not mad. He was actually extremely brave about the whole incident. Um, however, his entire wrist was so purple that I told him and suggested that you need to get to the ER. And he's like, oh no, I'll be fine. And and he's looking at it and it had indentations from the steps of the ladder. And I was like, oh my God. I said, well, if it swells up, you need to go check yourself in. The other guys were laughing and talking on the way over to the other building and looked at me and asked if I was all right while I was having a major panic attack. Um, but all in all, I am not a superhero. So that's my story of the day. It's Fun Friday. Why don't you head over to Artbird and look at some real superheroes? Peace out. Stay positive.